Okay, we're gonna check this out. This is the Epiphone Broadway. Really nice full hollow body. Uh, no block in there. Nice spruce top, it looks like. Maple back and sides. Made in Korea. So let's uh, plug it in and let's check it out. Okay, let's check this out from a feature standpoint. Uh, this is the Epiphone Broadway. Really nice size. Um, they do some of the cool like D'Angelico stuff. So like a five layer um, binding wrapping around a pretty nice pick guard. Well cut. Uh, gold hardware for the switch too. I think this is kind of like, they copied this from Ibanez, the rubber grommet. Um, I'm not sure if there's a functional benefit to that, but it's interesting that I only see that on some of the jazz guitars. Um, nice top caps. I always like the indicator. It's just kind of, I mean, what, it's gotta be two cents, but I just like <laughs> the extra attention to detail. Um, a nice split tail piece here so you can get different tensions on the top three and the lower three. Um, I'm starting to really appreciate that on some of my other guitars. So very nice, uh, good bridge, rosewood. Compensation looks good. We'll check that with the tuning. That's the top, check out some of the finish. Finish looks really good. This edge, they did a great job on that. Inlays, binding, really nice. They got the abalone and the mother of pearl slash mother of toilet seat. I'm not sure if it's real, but um, love the binding all the way around. Looks really nice. Probably a plastic nut just because I'm used to a lot of the Epiphone stuff having that. Good headstock, bad stringing job, so I got to fix that too. Uh, let's see what else. Made in Korea. Nice Grover tuners. Big vintage crazy headstock. Kind of cool. Let's check out the fretting. Eh, it's not perfect, but um, it's a little proud, but at least they have the binding on the edge, so you're not going to feel the edges when it sprouts out. Finish at the joints. Looks pretty good. Nice scarf joint there. Pretty plain. Uh, I'm sure it's some form of laminate because I don't think they have. Let me see what the bracing situation is. Yeah, there's not much of a bracing situation on the back. So I'm sure that's going to be just a pressed laminate, which is fine. That's that's good for longevity. Um, yeah, not much else to show. Let's plug it in and check it out. Okay, body's pretty big, but the string tension is fantastic. And the, the uh, pickups are balanced pretty heavy on the uh, thin strings, which I kind of like. Uh, so let's start. We're going to start on the, let's see, tone wide open. This is on the neck pickup. Uh, I'll try to play a little bit two, two different styles. So like a little... For people doing Western Swing or uh, maybe Rockabilly. Jazz. Sounds good. Really punchy. Uh, mental note this has, I think, 12s uh, flat wounds. So if you were doing rockabilly, you'd probably change over to round wounds. wider than a, uh, at least up here, a little bit wider than a Les Paul, but it fills up the hand nice. Okay, middle pickup. A little bit more uh, like subdued tone, not as punchy. Then uh, bridge pickup. Thank you. 
It's nice, but it's a little bit uh, high mid, kind of honky for me. I like that. Yeah, that neck pickup is really nice, really punchy, and just really responsive. Uh, let me know what your favorite hollow bodies are down in the comments and hit like and subscribe so I can keep building this channel and making videos. Um, yeah, maybe I'll do a shootout with this and the D'Angelico we have right now. We'll do a side-by-side -side with them. So uh, we'll see you soon. Thank you.